Now we turn our attention to Faraday's law. Faraday's law is the essential law of electric machines. And it reads, nature is stubborn. Why do I say that? Imagine the situation. A magnetic flux that is linking an electric circuit like this one. One turn. And that turn is open here. There is a little gap there. So current cannot flow. That is the flux that is linking that turn. Now look what happens. If I try to steal away some of the flux like this one, nature will have none of that. Nature will try to create a current in blue here that will compensate for the change of flux, that will reduce the flux outside of the coil and will increase it outside of the coil to reestablish the situation that it had before. Try. No current actually will flow in this diagram because there is a gap here. If there were some external device like this resistor, current would flow. Observe that because the current would appear like so, the polarity of the induced voltage in the coil actually has this one. Positive at the bottom and negative at the top. Mm. Excellent. Now, if what we try to do is the opposite, if we encounter the situation and we move the external lines of flux into the coil like this, we are increasing the flux and nature again will react and say, oh no, you're not going to change my flux. And we'll try to create this current with the opposite direction that will reduce the flux inside the coil and increase it outside the coil, reversing the polarity of the induced voltage. So that's Faraday's law. If we change the flux, that links an electric circuit, nature will counter with an induced voltage that tries to compensate the change of flux. The greater the change of flux, or the faster the change of flux we're trying to create, the larger the induced voltage the nature will react with. Mathematically, we we'll say the induced voltage E is the time derivative of flux. The negative sign here is the mathematical representation of the stubbornness of nature. What it says is nature is actually applying a voltage that opposes the change of flux. That sign is the mathematical representation of what is known as Lenz law. Nature is stubborn. Now, if we take not one turn, but several turns and turns and connect them in series, then the induced voltage will be n times that. And that is Faraday's law. And this expression is useful in transformers and in many occasions. However, there is an expression of Faraday's law that I find much more useful when I'm studying rotating machines. Let's call that Faraday's law take two. If a conductor cuts magnetic flux lines, a voltage appears along that conductor. How can this be? Well, maybe the conductor is moving in the magnetic flux and it's cutting lines, or maybe the conductor is stationary, but the magnetic flux is moving across and cutting the conductor. In either case, nature induces a voltage along the conductor and that voltage is proportional to how many lines the conductor is cutting per second. Hmm. Let's represent that mathematically. And for that, allow me to give you a visual representation I have. This one. I imagine that sugar cane, those ones, are actually magnetic flux lines. The machete is the conductor. If we want to cut more sugar canes per second, so we got to find a patch of sugar cane that is very dense. The denser the sugar canes, the more sugar canes are cut per second. That's right. Secondly, the longer the machete, the more sugar canes are cut per second. The faster the worker swings that machete, the more sugar canes per second it will cut. Mathematically, we say the induced voltage is proportional to how many lines it cuts per second. Correct. So that's going to be proportional to how dense the magnetic flux lines are, B, to how long the conductor is, at least the part of the conductor that is cutting the flux, L, in meters, and how fast 
that conductor is moving V in meters per second. Of course, that is the velocity in meters per second of the conductor moving across. In this expression, the conductor is perpendicular to the magnetic flux lines and also to the velocity, which is the case in electric machines. Anyway, that expression will give a funny name. That is blue law, but blue is no way of pronouncing that. So I gotta buy a vowel and I will call that the blav law. In what follows, tongue firmly stuck in our cheeks, we will call that form of Faraday's law the blav law. A needle's voltage produced by a conductor that is cutting magnetic flux lines.